Peace Building Ministry is a very important ministry. You now in the States have peace building ministries. And you also have the commissions. As said by many, you need to do a lot of work. Our country is not yet at peace. Political violence has stopped in 90% of the country. The rest, we hope to stop it. But the threat on peace now is civilian violence. Civilian violence brought about by the rampant ownership of guns, of weapons, light weapons, by our population. In a household, you might find one household has not less than five rifles. And this is where the radicalization said by the chair of the commission, National Commission, comes in. Then the question be, why do they have, why each household has, and, and on every five, is because of their concern for their own protection from a viewpoint. They want to protect their lives. They want to protect their properties. They want to protect their communities. What is, the, what is, which is a sign of breakdown of law and order? Because weapons, should be in the hands of those authorized by the state. By the state. No. Organize forces from the military. You count them, there are six or seven. This should be the people who, on behalf of the state, whole weapons. But because of the breakdown of law due to civil war, each individual has taken it to protect his or her own property. That is our first challenge. Our first challenge. How do we persuade our population to give up ownership of arms and the state will protect it or will protect them. That is a challenge you at the level of the states and us here will have to handle. If you do it by force, you will create more violence. So it needs persuasion. It needs persuasion through many institutions. That is why peace institutions, peace building institutions are so many. And even the stakeholders that contribute to peace building are many. But you can make them, in summary, the very family, 
the family itself is the nucleus. Then you have to address the chiefs to, get, to tell them the importance of maintaining peace. This is the structure which has not been failing. Governance structures have proven that they can fail by pressures, by political pressures, political violence, by civil war. Governance instructions can fail. But chieftaincies, they maintain them. They maintain them. So we have to look at how we can involve chiefs in the peace building. After all, they are responsible for the youth who are the ones that carry out the violence. 